Okay, we're recording. All right, you ready? So Let's sing a high. song. <laughs> so uh, you want to move it a little bit so I can see everybody. I don't know. We're going to have to figure this technology out. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. With a great big hug. With a great big hug. You want a witchcraft. And a kiss. With a great big hug. And a kiss from me to you. And a kiss from me to you. Don't you know I love you? Eba. Don't Did you know I love you? Too? I'll stop this too. Don't you think I love you too? Let's say it. There's more. I am a conscious leader. Oh, now you're stuck. You're stuck. Oh, I love you too. This is you. Okay. I am a conscious leader. I'm a conscious leader. I am a conscious leader. I you're you're frozen okay are you all right so this yep. is how this is how this song goes i am a conscious leader i am a conscious leader all good things come to me i am a conscious leader i am a conscious leader all good things come to me <laughs> good enough <laughs> Good enough for now. We're frozen. Every time you speak, it freezes. So I can't hear you or see you, and then it unfreezes. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Clap for yourself. OK, everybody, sit down. Sit down. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> okay, I don't know that you're hearing me because you're frozen. We are hearing you. Okay, because uh, you're frozen and I can't, um, your picture's frozen. Okay, so everybody, if I'm going to show you some things we're going to play today about money and abundance. Okay. We're going to play today about money and abundance, yeah? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to show you some things and then we're going to write, we're going to play a little game and then um, we're going to put some affirmations on the board and we're going to repeat those so that you have these affirmations to say to yourself over and over and over again. Okay. Because do you know what conscious means when I say I'm a conscious leader? Do you know what it means to be a conscious leader? No, you know it? Okay, tell us. Yeah, somebody wants to say something. Uh, so okay. Say it again. I can't hear. What did you say? To be a big person. Oh, to be a big person. To be a big person inside of yourself. To know. To be a big person inside of yourself. Yeah. yeah. To know that you can create anything that you want and be anybody you want to be to know that you can create anything you want and be what you want to be that is conscious leaders yeah yes okay and that's what we're doing here today and all of you have a reason to be here do my freeze okay so i'm going to show you some things on the screen and then we're going to play a game okay and you're going to have to pair up so you need to get 
uh, together with a pair with another person. You're gonna pair up. That means you're gonna be two two, yeah. In just a second. Mm -hmm. In just a second, okay. Let me show you this first. Okay. Oh God, we're not seeing it. Am I? Okay. Can you see okay. me, Paul? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Y'all seeing it? Yes. Yada. Okay. Yeah, Yaman. Yeah, okay, we're not gonna do this. Okay, we're not gonna do that. All right. How many of you are afraid sometimes? Y'all listen to the we hear. How many of you are afraid sometimes? You are afraid. Huh? So, yeah. So fear. Can you see my screen? Can you see the screen? Yes. All right, so, your manager. So fear, fear of anything. If you're afraid of money. anything, afraid of making money oh, or afraid of being who you want to be or afraid of all kinds of things in the world. I want to give you a new definition of what fear is. It's false. Yeah. Evidence. Appearing. False. Evidence. evidence appearing. appearing. Real. Real. F E A R. Let's say it. F E A R. F stands for false. F stands for false. E stands for evidence. E stands for evidence. A stands for appearance. A and R stand for real. R stand for real. So false evidence appearing real. Hmm? That is what I call fear. And what right, that, Yeah, and what that means is, um, have you ever, have you ever thought that there's somebody in the room with you? Maybe there's a monster or something under the bed or under or in your room somewhere or in your house. Have you ever thought, oh no, there's somebody here. There's a monster. There's a monster. Have you ever felt that way and called out to your mom or dad and said, help me. Have you ever feel like something inside your room, like a monster or something bad and then you shout and call your family or your mother before? Yes. Huh? Yes. Right, and so what does what does the mom what does mother do or daddy do? They come in and they say, "No, no, Who no." Who can tell us what your mother did or your daddy did when you were shouting and screaming in your room that you fear something happening inside the room or something inside the room? Anybody? One person. Yeah. She ran to find out what happened to her daughter. Okay, and so what do you do? You show your daughter. See, there's nothing here. It's all in your imagination. See, there's nothing here, right? You showed so her what I told you. You showed her new evidence. You showed her something else. You showed her yeah. that there's new evidence that it's not real. Yeah. Okay. But to it to the child or to the children, right? It's real. Oh, it's really real. So until you get new evidence that it's not real then you're afraid. So what we're going to do is give you new evidence that making money, you don't have to be afraid of money, or you don't have to be afraid of being who you want to be. And you just want to keep looking for evidence, which means proof, proof that, that you can do whatever you want to do. Okay. So this thing I want to say is if we are afraid to fail, than we already have. Why don't you say that? If we are afraid to fail, then we already have. Let's say it. If we are afraid to fail, we already have. If we are afraid to fail, if we are afraid to fail, we already have. We already have. So it simply means don't be afraid of failure, yeah? Yes. Which means don't, yeah, don't be afraid to fail because if you avoid, if you try to not fail if you avoid failure you could be avoiding success because part of failing part of being successful is failing too it's okay to fail sometimes because you're learning okay so if you mm -hmm. avoid failure you could be avoiding success and there's nothing wrong so if you avoid failure you'll be avoiding success sometimes you need to fail so that you get successful because failure would can't go without success can't go without failure that's what she's saying yeah 
So don't be afraid to fail and also don't be afraid to be successful. Okay. So what I want to talk about is I want you just to shout out. I have a fear of, let's see what your fears are around money. Okay. Let's yeah. see if you have any fear around money. So I have a fear of having money because what? Does anybody have a fear of ha having money? Because what could How many of you have the fear of having money? You fear to have plenty of money. You are afraid that when you get plenty of money, what do you say? Uh -huh. You are afraid? When you put your hands up account to you, why are you shaking your face? Yes, you have a fear of having money. Okay, and why? Having money. She says, she said because they will say she is part of a cult, a society. Oh, okay. So what other people, so you're afraid of what other people might think about you. So you're afraid of what people might think about you, yeah? That's why I say, eh? Yes. So they will say that you ritualist, eh? Yes. So you're afraid to get plenty of money, eh? Okay, let's go on, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's another one. I have a fear of giving money because, anybody have a fear of giving money? Because why? Do you have a fear of giving money? Some of us think, gee, do you have a fear of giving money? Yes. Why do you, are you afraid to give money? If you're afraid to have money, why are you afraid to give money? They say some people will take it to the witchcraft coven and work against their finances. Okay. So you're afraid of what they're going to do with the money, that they're going to do bad things with it? <coughs> Is that right? Buddy? Are you saying because they're afraid of what they're going to do with that money that they're going to do bad things with it? Yes. They okay. said that is when they give their money, somebody will think, do bad with it okay. against them. Yeah. All right. Here, here's another one. I have a fear of receiving money because. I, I, I have, have a fear of receiving money because of why? Do you have a fear of receiving money? Yes. When people want to give you money, are you afraid of receiving that money? Why? Why? Some of them are looking for human being parts to do rituals. Okay. That's our own mentality here. Okay. All right. And you're, so you're afraid of what, what we in the U.S. of the United States of America, we call, uh, there are strings attached. In other words, if you receive something from someone, then that means you have to do something for them and there's a string attached to it is that what you mean all right yes uh what she's saying is that in liberia when somebody giving money that means they want something from you eh? yes especially when they give it to girls it simply means sometimes they want to rip the girl or they want to do something isn't it yes. so that's what i call strings attached right yes okay that is it yeah yeah there's something attached it's like i've got to do something for somebody so, all so you have to do something for somebody before you get money and what I'm uh, trying that will happen, Liberia. Yes. And what I'm trying to tell you and show you, there's another way that that doesn't have to be the way. So that she you, wants to tell you and show you that that is not all the time the way. Yeah. Yes. To receive money, to have money, and to give money, sometimes that is not the way. Then listen to her. There's another way so that you can these know. fears that you have are going to stop you from creating money. The fear that you have of receiving money from people and giving and having money will stop you from getting money. Hmm? So we have to let go of the fear and start looking for what is real. So in other words, we can create a new real. Create so a you need to take belief. away the fear and build a new real that this can be real. Huh? Okay, and that's what I call your bubble talk. Okay, that's that subconscious thought that's up here in your mind that you're thinking. So this you... is called bubble talk. Let's say it. Bubble talk. Yeah. So bubble talk is the subconscious mind. That thing that can be telling you small, small thing under your mind. Huh? You, you want to receive the money? Say no. When I receive the money, they will do bad to me. That small thing that I can tell you is what I call the subconscious mind. Hmm? So what we want to do is change what's in your head. We want to change it. So if you, if you think, for instance, I'm not good enough, and that's what you're thinking, I'm not good enough to do 
anything or to make money, then that is exactly what you will create. Or she say, when you believe that or you're thinking that you cannot make money, is that that is how you will become. When you think that you're poor, that is how you become poor. When you think that you fail the subject, that is how you fail the subject. All right? So you must not think that way all the time. Okay? So we want to blow away the fear and blow away those bubbles. Okay? And create and change. So let's blow away the fear. Yep. Blow let's it away. blow away the fear. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you want to change your thought, your subconscious thought to I am good enough. Say to yourself, I'm good enough. Okay, so what we're going to do is play a game. Let me just change this. Okay. We're not going to do this. All right, let me get off of here. So giving and receiving is the same feeling, okay? So what I want you giving to do- Giving and receiving is the same feeling, yeah? Yeah. So what I want you to do is uh, get a partner. Okay, everybody, let's get a friend. Get Everybody, a partner. Let go. Let's get a friend. Tutu. Eba. All right. Tutu. Calm down. Just get down. Get up. Everybody, Tutu. Let party share one side. Hey, you get up. You. You're, you're, you're the problem, man. Get up. Everybody, Tutu. Okay, let's say when you're ready, I'll talk it off. Nobody talk to me, somewhere here. Everybody, tutu. No. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to look at each other. What? I want you to Everybody, wait. Listen. I want you to look at each other. Look at each other, tutu. Everybody, look at each other. Okay, now. You'll find a partner now. All right, the taller person, okay. The taller person, the taller person goes okay, first. On the okay, the taller person goes first, okay. Okay, the taller person goes first. All right, huh? whoever's the tallest, you go first. Whoever is taller than you, the person goes first, yeah? Please and what I, stop the talking there. And what I want you to say, to the tall person, I want you to say to the short person something you like about them. So just tell them something you like about them. And the short person, I want you to, to totally discount what they say to you. Say, no, it's not true. You're crazy. No, I'm not gonna believe that, okay? So tall person, you say to the short person something I like about you. It can be something about the way they look. It can be, if you know them, you can say, I think you're funny or I think you're happy, or I like your shoes, something like that. All right, so and you're coming to tell you the top person, you're yeah. telling the short person what you like about the person. I like the way you dress, I like the way you talk, I like you, you are, you know, beautiful or handsome. And then you that are telling, listen, <laughs> you that are telling nothing, what all you do is, you say, no, 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 I'm not beautiful, I'm not handsome. You know, I'm not good like that. Yeah? Why you say it's a lie? You understand? You refuse it, yeah? yeah. So let's start. Yeah, tell, do, tell him what you like about everybody. Give three, give three compliments. Three compliments, okay? Yeah, three compliments, three good things that you like about the person. Three good things that I like about the person. Okay. Since you have been coming to school. Since you have been coming to school, the three things you like about the person that you're standing with now. Tell the person now, eh? Take that thing for him off. Tell the person now. If you're not getting up, go sit down there. And the short person discount it. Say no, no, no. And you the short person, you refuse it, yeah? You hear me? Yeah. So let's go. Everybody, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, do not hear. I don't like you. So everybody do it all at the same time. Everybody, let's do it together. Do your own, everybody, as we go. Do your stuff this to me. Do your stuff this to me. Do your stuff this to me.
You like the person? Talk to the person up. Talk. Okay. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah, you, you the short one, deny it. Okay, enough, enough. Okay, good. Good job. Now. Good job, now. good job. Clap for yourself. Okay. Now. Okay, okay now. Now, now, same person, tall person. You can say the same thing to the shorter person, but short person this time, you say, thank you. And you don't say okay, anything Okay, now, else. you're going to tell him now. The same thing you said about him, and you have to tell the person, thank you. Huh? So when you say, I like, I like the way you dress, I like the way you can come to school, I like the way you can interact in class, and you tell the person, thank you. So let's go again. All of us. Let's go. Everybody. Hello? When the person tells you, say, okay, let's do one at a time. Yeah, let's go. I like oh no! The I like the way he can talk. I like the way he can do. Thank you. Now go. Welcome. Now do it. Do it all at once. Yeah. I like the way he can read you. I like your shortness. I like your hair. Everything else. Thank you. Uh huh. Do it all at once. Do it all at once. Oh. I like your behavior. I like Move. the way you can act. <laughs> I like your hair. Thank you. My man, your behavior. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah, let's talk. I like the way you Okay, okay. let's do this once. I like the way you All right, thank you. Let everybody do it, Paul. Let everybody do it all at okay, once. Okay, let everybody do it now. No more phone. Everybody, do the same thing and let the person, listen to the person. When the person finish complimenting you, it tell you the sweet words. Then when the person finish, you tell the person what? Thank, Thank you. So let's do it one. Yeah, let's go together. Yeah, let's let hear it. Thank you. OK, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's listen now. Let's listen to Bosch. Okay, now Pause, we're now, Paul. I want to reverse it so that the short person now, shorter person, you give the compliment to the taller person. Okay. Okay. So, the shorter so person now we're making the, the reverse. Yeah. We're making the reverse. The shorter person that you say thank you just now, tell the taller person the same thing he tells you what you like about the person, and let the person to tell you thank you. <laughs> so you tell the man. <laughs> What is that for? I'm, 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 I'm. Let's go now. Talk to your friend. Look at the man in your face. Don't look at him. Okay, thank you. Okay, good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Clap for yourself. Okay, so you good, can you. now you can sit down. Go ahead and sit down. Sit down. Wow. Make a right. Right. Everything about them about us. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm moving. <laughs> Don't break the chair, so. <laughs> Okay, hey, pay attention then now. Let's keep quiet. Hey, you wipe the black ball. Yo, bring the dust and wipe the black ball. Hey, look at the sponge. Hey, look at the sponge here. Okay. Are you, are you, please, 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 please. Please. Shh. Okay. So the reason, did it feel good to say thank you? Did it feel good? So say thank you. Did it feel good? Yes. So here's the thing I want you to understand, okay? That many people, when you're given a compliment or you're given money 
or you're given anything, oftentimes people will say, no, 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 I don't want that. No, I can do it myself. Okay. You discount it. In other words, you say, no, no, no. That is something that you've done before, isn't it? So when people give you money and you'll be telling them, no, 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 yes. or something you refuse it, yes. it's something that you've been doing before, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happens if you just say, thank you, it feels better. So when you give, when you gave somebody the compliment and they said, thank you, didn't that make you feel good that they received your compliment? When somebody gives you something and you say, thank you, you feel good? Yes. yes. Huh? Yes. And when somebody do something for you, you do something for somebody and say, thank you, will you feel good? Yes. Yeah. It's so when you're holding a baby like this and you go, you're so cute. You're such a cute baby. You're so cute. And you're holding that little baby. Does the baby look back at you and say, no, I'm not cute. <laughs> So when you hold a baby and you play with the baby and say, baby, you look beautiful, you look good. The baby will turn and look back at you and tell you, say, no, I'm not beautiful. <laughs> huh? Would the baby say that? No. No. No, the baby just goes, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> And so the baby receives it. And so guess what? That's how you were born. You all were babies before, right? <laughs> And you have babies before? Yes. That's how you are born, eh? Yes. People used to hold you and then they play with you. They say they love you. They like you. And they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So you are babies. You still, we were born to receive. We were born to go, oh boy. Yeah. Eh. So you have, <laughs> you know how to receive. You know how to do that. And so now it's time for you to relearn that because you've learned to stop people from giving you things you've okay when you were born you were receiving from people huh eh? yeah. now that you are growing up it's time to give back to people hmm? well it's huh. not about giving back paul it's about them receiving it still so then okay it's about you receiving it all right yeah. so you're still receiving because you are a baby huh so when you so in other words, when you give somebody something and they receive it, it makes you, the giver, feel good. So, so when go somebody gives you, you give somebody money and the person receives it, it makes you, the giver, well, feel happy. Eh? Yes. So it's the same energy. So if you, if you receive a compliment or money and you say thank you, you're giving something back to that person. You're giving something you understand back that? to them. When I give you something and you say thank you, you're giving me back something. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So when I give you and you say thank you, what are you giving? Uh -huh. And the thank you, you're giving it? Yes. Uh -huh. So you're giving back something, yeah? So giving and receiving is the same energy. So if you think about it, I'll just say it again. Giving and receiving is the same energy. Let's say giving and receiving is the same energy. Giving. So if you want to make a lot of money, okay, and if you want to do really great things in the world, it's hard to do that if you keep saying no, 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 no. Somebody keeps trying to give you something, a compliment or love or money, and you keep saying no, 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 it's hard to really receive it. So you're basically saying, I want, I want it, but don't give it to me. I want it, but don't give it to me. Okay. So you understand? When you everybody here want money? Yes. But if people give you money and tell you no, 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 no. You want the money, but you not receive the money, right? Yes. So that is it. So when you give the money, when somebody gives you the money and you say no, you will not receive it. Hmm? So what you're what you're telling, what you're saying to everybody out there in the world, what you're saying is I can do it myself. I don't want I don't need your help. I don't want it. So when you, you, you say no, that means you're telling the world that you don't want to receive it, you don't want the money, and you don't want nothing. You can do by yourself. And nobody can do by themselves. And you know that? Mm. And so what you learn is if you can start to say just thank you, 
and start saying thank you and practice saying thank you. If it's a compliment or if somebody's being nice to you, just keep saying thank you because what that does, it's going to help you remember and you're going to send out those vibrations out to other people to say, I'm worthy of receiving. So when you tell people thank you, you are telling them that you are worthy of receiving. That means somebody can give you more, can give you more. huh? Yeah. For example, what she's giving to us, let's say what? Thank you. Let's say what? Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. So now she's teaching us, we say thank you. So we can get what? More. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so you don't want to stop the flow because money, uh, money is energy and there's a flow. So, if so you when you don't say it, thank you, the person stops giving you money. How many of you, your, pa your parents give you money and you tell them thank you and they give you a gift? There are some people, you give them money, they will not say thank you. Eh? You give them food, they will not say thank you. You give them your pen, they will never say thank you. So when you, somebody asks you for something, you tell the person what? Thank, thank you. you. So the person can give you next time when you ask him, yeah? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it changes how you feel and it changes, you're basically saying to the universe and everybody else out there on an energetic level, you're saying, I ch I'm worthy of receiving. So you are telling everybody that you are worthy of receiving. Say, I'm worthy of receiving. I'm worthy of receiving. So when your friend gives you something, when you say thank you, that means you are worthy of receiving what your friend gives to you, yeah? Okay. Angel? All right, so I wanna, uh, let's put, let me ask a couple more questions and then I wanna do some affirmations on the board, okay? So that you can write these affirmations on the board and you can say these every day to yourself. Do you know what So come in right short, affirmation. Mm -hmm. Affirmation is something that you say to yourself and it will happen. Mm -hmm. So write it on the board, you write it in your book. Every day you say it to yourself. Every day you say it to yourself, yeah? You, the more you say it to yourself, the more you become, what you want to become, right? So, but she has some questions, let her ask. So before we do the affirmations, I just want to ask you, um, I want you to dream, okay? I want you to dream about uh, your relationship with money. All right, okay? some of you dream your relationship with money, how you want to see money, how you want to get money, the kind of money that you thinking about. Dream some dream about money, hey. Can we dream a dream about money? Well, huh? you want have money like George Weah? Yes. <laughs> more, yes. more than George Weah. Yes. <laughs> Some of you are getting money more than Ronaldo? Yes. Ah, they say people are doing ritual to get money. So if money were a person, if money were a person, how would you describe that money? Would it be a him or a her? How would you describe the money? If money if, was a person, if money were a human being or a person, how would you describe that person? A woman or a man? Anybody? If money were a human being, a person like you and me, how would you describe the money? Man or woman? Man? How many of you say man? How many of you say woman? Some people say men, some people say women. Yeah, there's no, there's no wrong answer, okay? There's no okay. wrong answer, yeah? <laughs> there's no wrong answer. It's whatever you, whatever you kind of relationship you think money is to you. So, so if you, you take money to be a man, that's the kind of money you get. If you take money to be a woman, that's the kind of way your money flow. Huh? And women, then, you know, flexible. Yeah, men, then, what, well, hot, eh? Okay. So when you, <laughs> when you, this is a fun, this is supposed to be fun, okay? <laughs> to get, keep you thinking that uh, money is, uh, looking at money in a different way, okay? So Yeah, that when, money is not evil. Right, so when you touch so money- So if you see money as a human being or as a man or a woman, that simply tells that money is not what? Evil, huh? Mm -hmm. So when you touch money, how does that make you feel? When you touch money, how you can feel? Mm -hmm. Huh? Happy. I'm not talking about dirty money or when you touch real money, how you can feel? Happy. You can feel fine? Yes. Happy. Yes. Well, I will say that some people in the U.S., USA, some people, when they touch money, they feel dirty. Some people in America, when they touch money, they feel dirty. Do you? 
Do you feel dirty sometimes? Do you feel like Do you it's feel not dirty good? sometimes or whole money? So for some for some people, their belief is that money is not good. So if you think money is not good, then you're gonna keep keep you're gonna keep not having it. You're gonna keep pushing it away. Okay. So the idea here is that money is not good or bad. It's just energy. Okay. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Money is the energy that flows. Yeah, it's not evil. Yeah, it's not good or bad. Money is not good or bad. But what money you do, is not good. It's not bad. Yeah, it's just energy. It's just a way to flow. So, if you think about money as a person. Do you respect it? Do you? If you see money as a person, do you respect it? Yes. yes. But then why you can't tell it? <laughs> so what I'm, I'm trying to get you to, I'm trying to get you to think about money in a different way, okay? So I want you to think about money in a different way, yeah? That money can be a human being just like you, and you must respect the money, and that's I get attracted to you, huh? Mm. Yeah, because if you don't, uh, it will not. It will not attract to you. You will not attract. If you it. don't respect money, you don't value money. Money don't come to you. Hmm? Just like a person, okay. Just like a person. When your person, yeah, your friend walking, and then all the time you shunning your friend, you talking back to your friend. What will happen? Your friend will stop coming around you, right? So that's how money looks like. When you talk to money, you treat money very well. Money comes to you, huh? So from today, say I respect money. I respect say I respect money. I respect money. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's put some affirmations on the board. Okay. All right. Somebody give me a chalk quick. So you go to your market to give it to. It's always a good time to make money. It's always a good time to make money. So let's talk to come and put a black boy in the middle. Come and put a black boy in the middle. Alfred. It's always a good time to make money. Let's say it together, it's always a good time to make money. It's always a good time to make money. I deserve to be wealthy. I deserve to be wealthy. I deserve to be wealthy. Wealthy to get plenty money. Uh, you're talking like prophecy. I deserve to be wealthy. Plenty. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I deserve to make money doing what I love. I deserve to make money doing what I love. I deserve to make money doing what I love. So why you love, when you're doing it, you will get money. Huh? We're talking about money. Say money. Money. Oh, you want to make poor? <laughs> How many of you want to make poor? <laughs> Okay, are, are you writing this on the board so they can remember it, Paul? Yeah, let me write it on affirmation. It's always a good time to make money. Number one, it is always, everybody keep quiet, keep quiet. It is always a good time, a good time to make money. Mm -hmm to make money. I deserve to be wealthy. Somebody write fast though. I deserve to be wealthy. To do be. They know, do they know what wealthy is? Do you know what they call wealthy? No. You could just say rich. I deserve to be rich. All right, oh, you say, I deserve to be what? Rich. rich. Say it. Rich. I deserve to be rich. Tell Alma to get up, let her go home. Yeah, go, go rest. Let her go. Number three. I deserve to make a lot of money doing what I love. I deserve to make a lot of money doing what I love.
I do to make money doing what I love. Doing what I love. Number four. The only failure is the failure to participate. The only failure is the failure to participate. The only failure mm -hmm. is the failure to participate. <clears throat> and Paul, if you might want to explain that to them, that again, <clears throat> you never fail if you're trying. If you try, <clears throat> then you don't, you're not failing. If you fail, uh, if you don't try at all, then that's when you fail. So that if you're avoiding failure, you avoid success. So if you're avoiding failure, you're avoiding success. Mm -hmm. So the, the only, only failure... time you fail is when you don't try. That's right. Huh? The only time you fail is when you don't try it at all. For example, you sit at home, you say, when I go to school, Oh, you're frozen. I will fail. Okay, here we're back. Yeah, we're back. Okay, money, money flows easily to me. Ah, I love this one. I love this one. Money flows easily to me. I love this one. I love this one. Money flows easily to me. Even if you don't believe it, this affirmations are things you say to yourself. Bring out a blackboard. Until they become. So let's true. say this one: money flows. Money flows easily to me. Easily to me. What does that mean? It tells you that whether you work or you don't work or anything, money is supposed to come to you easily. Yeah. So money comes easily to me. You don't work very hard, like. Hey, you know the push push man, eh? Yeah. Hey, you know the push push man, eh? Yeah, like I hear. So when you work hard, it doesn't mean that when you work hard before you get money. Eh? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Number six. Success is easy for me. Success is easy for me. And you're frozen again me success is easy for me number seven i am a winner is it? i am what a winner i am a winner let's say it i'm a winner i am a winner, I am a winner. I am a winner. yeah that is very fantastic You want another one? Ah, uh, let's get number eight. People love to give to me. Ha! Ah, you see, it? people love to give to me. Let's say it. People love to give to me. People love to give to me. If people don't love to give to you, you not get money, oh. I know that. Uh huh. So let me write this here, affirmation. Number nine. I have plenty to share. Say, I have plenty to share. I have plenty to share. How many of you want to give money to people? Huh? How many of you want to get plenty of money? Are you giving people? Okay. So I say I have plenty to share. I have plenty to share. The more you get, the more you give, and the more people say thank you. Eh? Yeah. Uh huh. Number ten. I, I think we can stop. Yeah, okay. we can stop to ten. Okay. So that I can memorize it for the next minute. Okay. I now allow. I now allow La others to love and support me. I now allow 
others, others to love and support and not allow others to love and support love and support me you don't have to do it alone in other words like what you're doing eh? <laughs> like paul you're allowing me to love and support you and your and yeah your community <laughs> so yeah so a lot of people stop that they don't they think they have to do it by themselves and so if you say i now allow others to love and support me you open it up for people to support you and and it's not a bad thing to have help so let's say it's from one to ten yeah it is always a good time to make money. It is always a good time to make money. I deserve to be rich. I deserve to be rich. I deserve to make money doing what I love. I deserve to make money doing what I love. The failure is the failure to participate. The failure is the failure to participate. Money flows easily to me. Money flows easily to me. Success is easy for me. Success is easy for me. I am a winner. I am a winner. People love to give to me. People love to give to me. I have plenty to share. I have plenty to share. I now allow others to love and support me. And I So please write it down and Monday I will give you paper A4 and you'll go and write it down and put it somewhere. Every day you read it before coming to school, you read it before going to bed. Mm -hmm. And if you do that from now to next year, you will see your life changing. Seriously. Yes. You have to allow others to love and support you or else they won't support you. Huh? Nature speaks. You know that? That's perfect. So uh, I want to give you a tool that you can use and some um, home play. I don't call it homework. I call it home play. OK, we're going to have home play as we're about to close here. Yeah, home play. Carry my phone. My children are hungry. <laughs> Okay, we're almost sense. done. Almost done. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Uh, okay. So <clears throat> there are four buckets that you can put your money in. So what I mean by four buckets is there are four different places you can put your money so that it makes it makes more. Okay. You can put, and what I mean by buckets, you don't you don't have to use a real bucket. Uh, but you put your money in these four different places and if you, <clears throat> it's a habit, <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> no matter how much money you make, you want to save a little, you want to spend a little, mm. you want to invest a little, and you want to tithe, which means give. You want to give a little. So, okay. every, yeah. go ahead. Why, why is it right to these are the four buckets of money. Huh? Yes. You have to save, when you get money, you have to save a little, you spend small, you invest small, and you give time. That is giving. Huh? I'll explain to you when you finish here. Yeah. yeah. When you finish writing all of that, these are the four buckets that no matter every week or every month, whenever you get any kind of money, you want to save a little, spend a little, invest a little, and give a little. And what I mean So when by you get money from today, you save some, you spend some, that means you buy the food you want to buy, you eat, you do whatever you want to do. You invest some, that means you buy something, or you, if you want building a house, you build a house, or you do something, and then you give some, tight. You can give in the church, you can give to Paul, help the people, anybody you want to give to. So you, any money you get, you get four purpose, yeah? Don't forget the save part. <laughs> 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 so... Saving means you save it for uh, another time in case you need it, okay? All right, so saving means you keep some money for another day in case you need it, yeah? So if you, if you save today $10, probably tomorrow you will need $10, but you can get it. So your money you saved yesterday, you use it for today, and it will help you a lot, right? 
Yeah. So save, spend, invest. And invest means you have your money work for you. You make your money. Invest your means you have you. the money to work for you. Yeah. So you invest in things like a business or a home or um, do you have other things that you can invest? Like, a, do you have things that make money for you over there? Like no. Stock, stocks or anything like that? No, these are children, so they have nothing. They depend on parents. No, I meant you. I meant I meant adults. Do they have? Do you have like stock stocks there, or do you have? No, yeah, we have plenty of things here to invest in. Okay. Plenty. Okay. And the idea is the invest is making it's it's having your money work for you instead of you working for your money. Yeah. This is this is called passive income. Okay. So that's what that means. So here are the three steps to creating wealth or creating to be rich. Ask for what you want. So let's say three steps to get rich. Huh? Yep. yep. Number one, ask, ask for what you want. You got to know what you want first. So ask for what you want. Be clear on what it is that you want. And then you allow the universe, universe or God or uh, whatever you want to call that, universe or God will, will give it to you, but you have to be open to receive it. That's the universe response. And then you have to be open to receive it when it comes. Open to receive it. Because a lot of times people will stop stop it from coming. So how you get rich, how you get money, number one, ask for what you want. Some of you don't know what you want. You want to become a lawyer, you want to become a banker, you want to become a billionaire, you don't know what you want. And then when you ask the universe or this app, eh, yeah. the world will answer it. It will do it for you, right? And then you must always be ready to receive it. Say, I receive, it. I receive it, but you have to ask. If you don't ask, you will not receive it. Huh? That's perfect. Very well said, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> you must be learning some stuff, huh? <laughs> I've learned it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't be afraid to ask for what you want once you, once you know what you want. Yes, I ask. I want to come to America. <laughs> Paul's very good about asking. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm and asking. I want to come to America. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the universe will respond in a lot of different ways. You don't even know. So you have to be open yeah. to receive it. Mm -hmm. Yes. This 2021, 20, I want to come to America. <laughs> Well, I wanted to come back to Africa. I wanted to come to Liberia. Yeah, come first and I'm, then I will follow. I'm just not sure how we're going to no. do all that yet because of, uh, you know, COVID-19. No, we are sure of you coming. Yeah. No, no quarantine. <laughs> so your home play. Liberia? Yes. So then tell her, say we, ask her, say we want you to come to Liberia now. We want you to come to Liberia. So we can play. So we can play. <laughs> so we can play. Are so, you sure you're asking her? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Because we want the universe to respond to it, yeah? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. And I'll receive it. Ah, uh, she says she'll receive it. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so uh, here's your home play which is basically, I want you to imagine a goal. I want you to create a goal for yourself. Okay. So she said, when you go home, you create a goal for yourself. A goal is what you want to achieve or what you want to get at the end of the day. Huh? So for example, you're working from here to Dwala, your goal is to reach to Dwala. And you know that? So until you reach to Dwala, you will not do anything until you reach to Dwala. So that is what we call the home game. All right. So that's our goal. So I want you to spend your time 
uh, most, you know, feeling is when you wake up in the morning, you say, I am whatever it is that your goal is. And you say to yourself, that's what I'm doing today. And that's what I'm going to create today. And you say it so, just before you go to sleep as well. So if you want to pass in all the subjects, it could be your goal because you're going to school now. Huh? Yeah. If you want to be a good girl in the house, you say it, I want to be the good girl in my house or in my family. Huh? You say in the morning, you say it in the evening, right? Whatever you want to succeed in the day, you say it and it will come to pass. Hmm? So say it in the morning when you get up and before you go to bed at night. Say it in the morning and say it in the evening before you go to bed. Huh? And don't forget this affirmation. They are very, very, very good. When you say them to yourself all the time, the universe will accept it and it will start to happen for you. Huh? That's how powerful you are. You are so powerful because your thoughts and what you believe about yourself, that's, that's the power of how you can create things. You so can how you believe things. about yourself, that's the power that you create that will change things around you. If you're always complaining, I poor, I ain't got money, I ain't got the one, I ain't got the one, I will not make it, I will not make it, that's how you become and you will not make it. Huh? You hear me? So always be thinking positive. Say positive. positive. Say good things about yourself, right? Good, good things. I will make it. I'll be the richest man in my family. I will travel to countries. I will do this. I'll be good. Eh? Mm -hmm. And it will come to pass. Yes, believing your beliefs are the most important part. That's the most powerful force you have is what you believe about yourself. So what you believe about yourself is the most powerful tools you could ever have. Where people giving up, you don't give up. You see, press on. I'm very proud of all of you. Say thank you. She's very proud of all of you. Thank you. I can't wait to come and hug you. You're frozen. You're frozen again. Okay. I don't know if I want to get unfrozen or not, if, if it's me or you. And I don't know if you can hear me. But you have the most beautiful smiles. I like smiles. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family.